What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, what you are noticing first is this forum post because I've received quite a few questions about this. So I figured I would try to tackle it in today's video as the first part of this video. So what we're going to do is go through the installation steps in order to get Infernal Robotics to work for you. Now, this is for version 1.3. I know version 1.31 is currently out, but I haven't had many troubles with version one with this current version. Uh, I think the only trouble I'm having is my, some parts have disappeared. <laughs> so I think once that is corrected, it's just going to be a minor correction, a minor update to these steps. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. So the first thing you need to do is go to Kerbal Space Program's forum, and in there you will see Magic Smoke Industries Infernal Robotics 2.0.2 for 1.1.2. Now, what you want to do is go over to page 93. On page 93, here's this delightful post from V8 Jester, and the steps are here as follows in order to get this working with 1.3. So what you'll need to do is download the core parts. We're just going to go through the non-optional. You need the core parts. You're going to need the parts pack. And you are also going to need to stop clicking on everything. Stop it. So those are the steps that we really need to do. We need to install, install the core download. Install the parts pack. And then remove IR active struts. With a caveat, unless you install the active struts plugin recompile. I don't use the active struts, so I really don't need them, so I always remove them. So I'm going to show you what this really looks like, because a lot of people will use CCAN for everything, and that is fine, but since I don't use CCAN much anymore, as much as I enjoy CCAN, um, I just... We're just gonna go through this manually. So let's, let's, let's jump on at the next step. Okay, so here, what you see on the left-hand side here is going to be everything that I am using. Uh, this is my downloads for Infernal Robotics. Uh, also included, I have downloaded Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, the latest version, which will work with Infernal Robotics as well. Over here on the right-hand side, you will see I have one of my older folders that I still kind of use, Galileo Game Data folder, that has been cleaned of everything except for the squad parts and Module Manager 2.81. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go with the final core. I'm just going to double click here to open up the final core. I'm just going to jump in once again and you'll get to Game Data. Let's go in one more time. Just a double click each time and you'll see you have this folder called magic smoke industries this is what you want to drag into game data let's take a look inside real quick and you'll see that this is everything that it basically will need so we're going to go ahead and go back up one and we're going to go ahead and drag over this into our game data i'm just going to let that copy on over all right now that that's done we need to go back to our folder once again that's storing all of our parts so next thing we need to do we need to get our legacy parts and our repack in there so let's go ahead into legacy parts once again same thing just double click on that on the zip folder in windows 7 or windows 10 like i'm using and it will open up for you you can directly drag over game data to game data and it will blend but since this is not my active game data folder, I'm not doing that. So we have Magic Smoke Industries. We're gonna let this just copy over the parts that it needs to add. So let's try this again. There we go. Drag this on over here. It's gonna give me a warning if it finds any parts that are overlapping. Okay, so it has found a few parts that have the same names. Let's take a look. And you can see this is a, if this is for tweak scale, Infernal Robotics tweak scale configuration, and this is the license. Now, these files are already in here, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use these ones. So, these should be included in this old one. So, technically you're fine going with the newest one. These appear to be the same exact size, so I don't think it's going to hurt any. So, We'll just go like this. 
we'll, we'll go with the ones already there because it's going to be overwritten again anyway. So now let's go right back to Infernal Robotics once again. And now we're going to open up the repack. These are the newer actuating uh, parts. So we want to do the same thing once again. Magic Smoke Industries. And now you have in here IR Active Struts and Parts. So we're going to drag all this over. But we're going to get rid of the Active Struts once this is done. Okay, so now we have all of our Magic Smoke Industries packs in here. So let's open this back up. And now you see we have all these. We are just going to get rid of this for right now. Once again, I don't use this, so we're just going to delete it. Alright, so now we have our parts. Let's take a look at our parts. We have Legacy, which is our Legacy parts from the original Magic Smoke Industries uh, in front of Robotics. Then we have the rework parts, so the rework core, the expansion, and the utility. I use all of these interchangeably, so I don't, it doesn't really matter to me which one I have as long as I have the parts in here. And I just like to peek through and make sure they're all here. So technically you can go in here. I, I just don't actively use the struts, so we're good here for now. All right. So what we need to do now is jump back to our game data and we're going to jump back to here in my folder that I have isolating all my parts for this project and we are going to now jump into Kerbal Joint Reinforcement. This version, once again, that I mentioned actually does have, it does take into account Infernal Robotics. So it is a fantastic thing to have. If you don't have Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, then you probably should look into getting it. It does exactly what the name says. It reinforces the joints because you don't want to use too many auto struts when you're using uh, Infernal Robotics because things just won't work anymore. <laughs> so that is basically how you need to install uh, Infernal Robotics. That is going to get you the base parts in here. It's going to give you the rework parts, it's going to give you legacy parts, and it's going to give you Kerbal Joint Reinforcement and allow you to jump into the game with Infernal Robotics. So when you are looking in your game data, this is what you should see. Magic Smoke Industries, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement. When you jump into Magic Smoke Industries, you should see have everything in here and your parts should all be in the parts location. You should not have you should not have another Magic Smoke Industries folder within your Magic Smoke Industries folder because that would just be wrong. Now wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, well let's show you what you can do with this thing. Alright, so welcome to the gaming parts. So what you're seeing here is IR Swing Wing. This is an Infernal Robo Robotics blah, 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 Infernal Robotics aircraft that I have devised it is a bit shaky, but it should work. It should do the trick. So let's go ahead and take this bird out for a flight. So let's go ahead and show you how this looks. So I can show you quick the craft. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to go ahead and toggle this. We're going to turn on our engines a little bit. So we have some thrust going on. And we're just going to convert it on the fly while we are going down the runway, because why not? So this is what it's going to look like. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> oh, let's fold that back up and show you. So this one does have a bit of clipping, which is fine depending on how you want to play the game. So as it unfolds, everything just kind of untucks itself. And then we can go full throttle and gently lift her off the ground. A lot of flex in these wings. You're going to you're going to see a lot of flex in these wings. So let's do this. There you go. So as you see here, the wings are flexing big time. We have a lot of flex going on, a lot of bounce. These are some of the problems that you will have to deal with in, if you're using Infernal Robotics. And deal with it 
as you must, just try to make your craft stable. What I usually try not to do, I try not to put too much stress on the one joint. Because what you have here going on is this flat part. There is actually a rototron right here that you cannot see. As you see here, it's pulling. It's actually slightly pulling itself apart. But all the stress on that one part is causing this to have a lot of flex, a lot of bobble. And this is one of the older parts that you could use for Infernal Robotics. But it does still make for a quite flyable aircraft. Just don't actuate the parts too much because all of that is trying to hold together on one single point, which is a snap point for this aircraft now. Um, a lot of wing flex. It can handle a lot of wing flex. And, but... It can stay pretty stable with this Kitty Hawk engine. Uh, I'm sorry, the Kitty engine that I have on here, the Kitty turboprop. It has a bit more power than the Juno, and so I'm able to get a bit faster. The Juno only gets this aircraft to round about 60 meters per second, 65. This one's actually using a propeller, able to go to about 130. So <laughs> that's a significant improvement over the Juno. Uh, this propeller is from Airplanes Plus, so of course this one you will need Airplanes Plus. You will need uh, Fire Spitter, at least the DLL from Fire Spitter. You will also need Infernal Robotics and Tweak Scale because I tweaked some of the joints. As you can see here, these joints normally don't come this size. They are tweaked to be a bit smaller. And we are cruising quite a bit faster than 130 that I expected. All right, so. What I, want, what I want to do is show you what it looks like when we decide to fold it up in mid-air. So, once again, let's do this craziness. Uh. <laughs> so, this one is a bit more stable than some of my other aircraft when it folds. Um. <laughs> right now, it looks like some weird type of bird. Uh, can it fly like this? It can almost fly like this. <laughs> okay. Holy moly. Okay. All right. That was a bad idea. Whoa. <laughs> All right. We're not doing that. Okay. I'm sorry, airplane. So there you go. There you have it. It has a lot of flex. It can handle a lot of flex. And it flies really well. So let's take it back into the hangar and show you how we did this. Okay, so here's how we did this. Now, as you can see here, right now we are currently missing the extra tab here for uh, the newer rework parts, which is fine because if we go to utility, we have the legacy parts. I had to use legacy parts for this once one once one three one came out. So for this, I'm using the standard washer, which you can't see because my head's currently in the way. Boop. Better? <laughs> so over here we have the standard washer that we're using. We're also using... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Down here we're using the powered hinge. We have both of these hinges in use right now. So we also are using the tele telescoping piston, but I have it removed in the swing wing too. So the original version actually tries to latch onto itself to create some additional stability. So this is the Infernal Robotics Editor window. We're just going to open this up and show you all these parts that are currently in use and show you the slow fold of everything here. So that's what happens here every time I'm pressing this. So this aircraft was not hard to build. As you can see here, if you don't take into account clipping, then you can do a lot of crazy things in Infernal Robotics. And uh, if you do take into account clipping, then your craft's gonna end up being a lot bigger. You're gonna end up with a lot less stable uh, joints. And there's just gonna be a lot of trouble you're running to. But it can all be done strategically and pretty well with Infernal Robotics. I'm not the greatest at Infernal Robotics. I just happen to like to use it a lot. So there are definitely ways that you can make this work for you. That is how you install it. 
and hopefully we'll see a lot more people using it now that you know how to manually install Inferno Robotics. It's really easy. You just have to get over to your folder. I happen to have mine as a favorite in Windows, so I'm able to quickly get over to it and actually make it fly. So, yes, I like this aircraft a lot. This is just some of the things you can do with it. Um, some of the other aircraft I have do have the rework parts in there, but I'm not sure where they're showing now, so who knows how that's going to work. But for now, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in a comment, let me know what you think, and hopefully you will give Infernal Robotics a try if you have not already, and hopefully you will manage the manual install a lot easier than it looks, trust me. And if you have any questions, definitely ask and I will drop the link to that Infernal Robotics page in the description below. Until next time, my friends. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in a comment, let me know what you think. And if you have any Infernal Robotics projects, definitely let us know. Drop them in Discord, <laughs> and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. For now, it's your boy, just wind them out. Peace. Now, if I could just get Infernal Robotics to swing my arm over here and hit this.